right, you've seen this time and time again on the channel of how I do carburetors. The majority of people think that I get carburetors like this, where people say, oh, I want to clean the car. That's not the case. The stuff that typically comes to how to wrench, they just stack up. I got carburetors from, you know, all over the country. This is how I'm getting the carburetors. Look at this. Why would you think this would come to me? Aren't there shops all over the place? I mean, why is somebody going to box this up and ship it to How to Wrench? And this this is a perfect example where the carburetor's been cleaned, uh, I believe, multiple times, and it's still leaking. There's there's problems, guys, gals. I've got you covered. I have everything you need to service these correctly. But you got to do all the steps. You can't skip anything. So a really good example. This is off of Polaris. This carburetor, this style of carburetor, I should say, this Makuni, is used on everything from uh, motorcycles, ATVs, small aircraft. I mean, this is used all over the place. So you've got to quit thinking, especially like when you look at YouTube, like to be so specific to just your make and model. That's an ideal way to start a search when you're looking to do something. But when you're learn trying to learn a skill set so you can understand what all these pieces are doing, that's why you come to How to Wrench. To, to understand how to do it, especially so that you could repeat it uh, in a career or do it right for yourself. So lots of pieces. You can see how I keep them organized. That's a whole other video on its own. But this piece right here is one that's commonly left in place down here in the carburetor. And what people, what they miss is they miss that there's an O-ring on the bottom. Well, what happens? You know, customer says to me, well, yeah, this is a this is an 07 and almost treats that like as if it's new, newer, I should say. And and my challenge to them is, oh, okay, so it's 12 years old. How old is that O-ring? How old is that one? How old is everything? So you got to, I try to tell people, think about when you talk about the year of a vehicle, talk about how old it is, not what year it is. And it might question whether you think, you know what, I need to look into that deeper. So this is a common oversight. I'll put the playlist to all the videos there. You can watch your heart's desire out. They're all free. Uh, but the big problem with this one is we were getting some, some external leakage. It's like the carburetor wouldn't shut off. And so we have this thing called the, the needle and seat in there. And let's look at this one. So y you all are going to agree that's pretty dang clean carburetor, right? Boom. Typical. This off four-wheeler. Okay. And look at, let's see if you guys, if this will focus in here, and you'll be able to see. Do you see all that crap? Yeah, there we go. See all that on the O-ring there? There we go. Boom. All that junk. I don't care how much you clean in here where the needle valve goes. If this is not clean or does not have good integrity, the fuel will bypass, go right on around that. That will not be able to, you know shut the float off and you're, and you're going to leak fuel. Every time textbook, that's the way it is. I mean, look at some of the tools I use to, to clean a carburetor. Magnifying glasses. People laugh about this one. Who recognizes this? I'm not going to be all gender specific, but some people use this, put makeup on in their, uh, uh, in the bathroom. I use it to look at parts up close and look at it with some integrity get under a magnifying glass and find out well geez that looks a lot a lot like a lot bigger deal doesn't it and then also take a look at let's look at I always talk about this too anytime we're working on something mechanical you always want to think about the marriage between the parts so we're talking about what does this part touch what is it up against think about that as a marriage if this isn't happy what about the place where it sits? It's not gonna be happy either, okay? So, if we go into the carburetor itself, what I'm saying is, right, oh yeah, you can see it right there without the magnifying glass. Where I put that black paint mark, do you see those what look like scratches in there? I haven't touched this yet to, to try and figure out whether that's something I can just clean. I show a video how to do that with this guy. One of my favorite uh, seat cleaning tool sets here. So this guy, boy, you can tell the few that get used, those sizes quite a bit. Um, I'm also going to come back after I fix it and test the integrity of it with uh, using a vacuum test. I've got whole videos on that, how to wet test it, how to dry test it. 
Then I also need another little tool. This is my portable uh, tank. It's just a small engine tank with a shutoff valve, a fuel filter, so that I can go ahead and I can actually wet test that carburetor with fuel here in the shop before it ever gets to the customer so that when they get it back it's going to be able to be uh, right, uh, get on the vehicle, rock and roll with a few pointers. Anyway, I hope that you all are as excited to uh, to see how to wrench uh, on a comeback and see what we're going to produce out of here. We uh, are... Oh, God, I can't tell you how long it's been. I've just actually been uh, craving to make some new stuff and have some fun. So we got a lot of cool projects coming up and uh, talk with some people. I saw some people on here earlier uh, that were talking about doing some group stuff. So can't wait to do more with you all. Share, like, comment. That's how all this stuff has been free. I'm really uh, supported well on YouTube, so fantastic. And uh, make it a great day, as always. Keep wrenching, and I'm going to get back to work. <music>